Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about the five people on Manchester United's shortlist for the interim role. It's all been about Maurizio Pochettino over the last 72 hours, but at this moment in time, it looks like Manchester United are pushing for the interim appointment. And remember, in the statement after Solskjaer was sacked, the club said that we were looking for an interim appointment. So who could that be? There are five names on that shortlist, according to the latest reports. Ralph Ragnick, Ernesto Valverde, Rudy Garcia, Paolo Fonseca and Lucien Favre. So what I'm going to do in this video is run through all five managers, look at all their experience, what they've won in their career, take a quick look at their managerial history and experience. We'll talk about the formations that they use. Will they suit Manchester United? Who would do the job the best? So many things. So please, if you would consider subscribing to United People's TV by the end of this video, if you have enjoyed it and if, you, if you've learned anything from it, which is what these videos are all about. So please consider dropping a like on it. But let's get straight into this one and let's talk about candidate numero uno as far as i'm concerned and that is my main man himself ralph ragnick the man who you know i've already done a couple of big videos on and if you look at this man's experience i mean it really is fantastic you look at the trophies he's won because trophies are important for a lot of people he's won the dfb pokal he's won the austrian championship twice he's won the austrian cup once he's won the german second tier championship once look at that bundesliga two and the german league cup winner but it's when you look at Ralph Radnick's experience overall as a coach, and that's when it's like, wow, this guy's been around for a while. He's so he's got so much experience, I can't even get it on one screen. That I've got I've got to physically scroll to get it all on one screen. Right now, he's in the Locomotive Moscow job as their director of sport and communications. But he's done far more than that. Look at that between July 2019, the first of July 2019, and July 30th, first. A year later, he was global sports director at Leipzig, Salzburg, Red Bull overall, and Bragantino. I don't know what that is, but he was in control of multiple. He was in control of the whole sports brand of Red Bull. This guy is so ridiculously experienced; it makes me sick. Um, if you go down here, he was Leipzig manager twice. He's been Salzburg sporting director and Leipzig sporting director at the same time. Schalke manager, Hoffenheim manager, Schalke manager again, Hanover manager, Stuttgart manager, SSV Ulm manager, Rudlingen manager, Stuttgart's academy manager, 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 experience everywhere you look. My word, Ralph Ragnick, his CV is stacked. The 63-year-old is by far the most experienced of the options on this Manchester United shortlist. And you know my opinion on Ralph Ragnick. And it's not just about the fact that he's got all this experience, which, you know, makes him an outstanding candidate anyway. It's his ability to revolutionise Manchester United. And that's the sticking point for apparently the board, which, I, which I've which i expected. I don't want it to be the case. But Manchester United, I would love Ragnick to come in. I see him out of all these options being the manager who could do the most good in the shortest space of time and leave our club in a better position, just like Solskjaer did, in my opinion. And I think Ragnick could tick all of those boxes. But it's the power struggle with Woodward, the fact that he would want to move upstairs into a bigger role if he after the interim appointment. That's the concerns about Ragnick. But for a lot of people, and certainly for me, he would be top of my list. But he's not the only name on the list. There's five names we've got to run through. So let's get straight into the second one. And I did a video on him yesterday, and that's Ernesto Valverde, the man who has the biggest trophies on his CV. He's got two La Liga titles. He's got a Spanish Copa del Rey title. He's got the Super Cup twice. He's got the Greek champions three times. Ernesto Valverde has worked with big players. Your Messi's, your Iniesta's. He's worked with big names, and he's won big trophies before. If we take a look at his managerial history... Again, it's pretty stacked. Barcelona, he was Athletic Bilbao manager for a long period of time, like four years nearly, four years basically. Valencia, Olympiacos, as I said, three Greek titles he's got to his names. But with Valverde, the main thing is all about the fact that he won two La Liga titles, back-to-back -back titles. And he only got when he got sacked, he was top of the league. But it was because of Barcelona's failures in the Champions League that he really lost his job. But Valverde is somebody that Manchester United have interviewed. Ragnick's been interviewed. Valverde's been interviewed. Rudy Garcia's been interviewed. And so is Lucien Favre. So let's jump straight into candidate number three. This is basically like blind date, but for managers. Rudy Garcia, what's your name and where do you come from? Uh, he's third on the list. He has won, what is it? He's not won much, is he? French champion once and French cup winners. Was that with Lille? I think he won that. Rudy Garcia is a man who, again, he's experienced in different sorts of ways. None of these, none of these managers have experience in the Premier League, 
but all of them are littered with experience inside European football. You look at Rudy Garcia here. Leon for 78 matches he was in charge. Marseille, 142. Roma for 118. Lille for 256 games. My word, this guy's had a lot of management under his belt. Le Mans, Dijon, not mustard. Uh, Saint Etienne. He's been around. He's done lots inside the French League. And Rudy Garcia, for a lot of people, was somebody who you, you look at him and go, yeah, you know what? I think he could do a big, big job at Manchester United. And the, the, the pattern that you'll notice about all of these candidates, whether it's Rudy Garcia, you'll see it there without club. Ernesto Valverde without club. I'll get into Lucien Favre next, but Lucien Favre without club. Paolo Fonseca without a club. The only man out of all of them who changes that is Ralph Ragnick. He's the only one currently in employment. Does that make it more difficult? No. If Man United come calling to Locomotive Moscow, Ragnick is choosing Manchester United. I'm sorry, but it's it's not even a... In, in my opinion, it's, it's a rhetorical question. But he's the only one currently in employment. Whether or not you think that would stop it, I don't think it would. But Ragnick's uh, desire for power and autonomy inside this glazer... Look, I've said this in my live stream this morning. I'll say it now. At some point, Manchester United as a football club will modernise. It will happen. And I see this opportunity with Ralph Ragnick with a short-term interim appointment. I see that as being a fantastic opportunity right now to modernise in the short term with an interim manager until the end of the season. I think he could do so much good. So much good. I've done a couple of videos on it. I might even do a separate one on why I think he would be perfect. But next on the list is Lucien Favre. Now, he has won, I think it's it Austrian. No, Swiss. He's won the Swiss League twice, a Swiss Cup twice, oh, obviously, because, you know, he's Swiss. Uh, but Lucien Favre, most memorable for his time with, of course, Borussia Dortmund, uh, where he managed 110 games between 2018 and 2020. Obviously, he's managed Jadon Sancho. So that's a little bit of a, a link if you want to go for that one. He managed Nice before that, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Hertha Berlin, Zurich. He's been around as well. Look at that. 102. He's about had about five, six hundred games inside European football at different clubs. Lucien Favre is heavily, heavily experienced. We look at how many games he's had about 600. We go over here to Rudy Garcia now. And he's had more than six, 100, 200, 300, 400, more than five, six hundred. Valverde. Five, wait, exactly the same thing. Ragnick. My God, how many has he had? Jeez. What's my little, what's my soundboard? Where is it? Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got excited by this, by this soundboard. But uh, can't blame you, can't blame you. But yeah, a lot of experience with all the candidates. So if that's Ragnick, yep. Valverde, yep. Rudy Garcia, yep. Lucien Favre, yep. Who is fifth on the list? What's your name, sir? And where'd you come from? My name is Paolo Fonseca, and I'm from Portugal. Well, actually, Maputo, but Portugal, Portuguese citizenship. Now, what has Fonseca won in his career? The Portuguese Cup. But most of his success came out in Ukraine with Shakhtar Donetsk. Three Ukrainian titles, three cup titles, one Super Cup title. He's had plenty of experience, as I said, just like all of them. We go down here, most notably recently at AS Roma. He was there for 100 matches. Shakhtar Donetsk, over 100 matches. Braga, I mean, out of the out of the options, he's, sig he's significantly long younger than all the rest of them. Um, he's got a little bit less experience than all the rest of them. But as I said, the thing that links all of them together, apart from Ralph Ragnick, he doesn't have a club. So that's Fonseca here, doesn't have a club. You've got Lucien Favre. Doesn't have a club. Rudy Garcia doesn't have a club. Valverde doesn't have a club. And Ralph Ramnick is the only man currently in employment. Not as a manager, but he has a role inside Locomotive Moscow. So that's the five candidates on Manchester United's shortlist. And as I said, if you looked at the statement that Manchester United released after Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the, the, the last line in that statement was the fact that the club was going to be looking for an interim manager. And the Pochettino situation, for me, it struck me that Manchester United really did aggressively and have been aggressively going after Poch. I think we had an inkling that we might be able to lure him away. But as I said in my stream this morning, if 150, 190 million pounds is going to be rejected by PSG for Mbappe, despite the fact that they're going to lose him for free next summer, then money's not going to change anything with him. Us going in with 10 million, ooh, 
lose 10 million PSG, it's going to change nothing for them. They don't want to let Poch go in mid-season. They won't let Poch go. Now, we're seeing reports from La Parisian that PSG are really deep in talks with Zidane. That's the only thing that's going to change it. One of two things is Zidane and that move to PSG comes faster than any of us think it could or Poch asks to leave. I don't think the second one will happen. But if that doesn't happen and Manchester United do go after an interim manager, which one of these five candidates tops your list? Is it Ralph Ragnick, a German coach, really experienced? Uh, if you're looking at his style of play, he's used a, a lot of different styles of play over his career. He's used three at the back. He's used a 4-3-3. He's used plenty. Or would you go for the Spanish Valverde, a man who did use the 4-3-3 inside Barcelona? Of course you do. When you're playing Barcelona, you use that 4-3-3. Or is it Rudy Garcia, who again favours the 4-3-3 formation? Or would you go, nah, I want to go for... German, Swiss, sorry. So you go for Lucien Favre, a man who apparently there, the favourite formation is 3 4 one, two. I haven't looked into the formations too much. I'm only reading here. And 3 4 two, one again from Paolo Fonseca. But who is it? Is it Portuguese Fonseca? Is it the Swiss Favre? Is it the French Garcia? Or is it the Spanish Valverde? Or do you want to go for the German Ragnick? You let me know. I, I, I literally sound like a blind date presenter. That, that's kind of what it feels like. This like long, it's not a short list, is it? It's a, it's a full on list. It's like a full shopping list. A short list is one or two names. But that's Manchester United for you. But that's the five names on the list. Who would you go for and why? You let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to bring you updates as and when this happens and this continues to develop. But Manchester United have interviewed Ragnick, we've interviewed Valverde, we've interviewed Favre, and we've interviewed Garcia. No word on Fonseca yet, but I'm sure we'll do that. John Murto is leading the push and, and the, the process. And maybe someone like Ragnick would come in and be a direct conflict with John Murto. But look, if we're looking at a modernization of our club... He's your man out of all of them for me who could do it the most. Will you let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. But who should come in as our interim manager? You let me know in the comments.